Free monkey media. Through the media. Monkey man. I'm gonna tell you this right now, guys. Go see this movie. Monkey Man is the thruple amalgamation of The Dark Knight meets John Wick meets like Slumdog Million. I don't know. That's the best I can describe it. I mean, this is an amalgamation. This is a thruple. They had a baby. This movie, <laughs> this which was Dev Patel's directorial debut. I would, I, I would swear to God, I mean, within the first 15 minutes, I felt like this dude is a, what had, I wouldn't have been surprised if you'd have told me this was his 10th movie. The tone, the grittiness of it, the, the, the I noticed the cinematography, I know the camera angle, the, the choices that he, he, this dude has an eye. Him coming up from, from Slumdog Millionaire to, to uh, new, what was that show he was on, Newsroom, uh, that was a short-lived on HBO, I believe, it was the, uh, uh, called Newsroom. Um, even to his uh, portrayal of the Avatar The Last Airbender, I mean, you, can, you could tell that he studied. He, I, I'm, t I'm telling you, every project he was on, I would not be surprised if I were to hear that he latched himself to, to the director and just said, hey, can I shadow you? Can I watch what you do? Because I want to do this someday. I, I would not be surprised if I, if, you, if I heard that in an interview that he gave or if he, if he told me that himself, that every project that I was a part of, I wanted to be behind the camera seeing how it worked. Because for this to be his directorial debut and the way it was, it was executed, blew me away i you don't like to watch a lot of like the gore stuff and now compare this to john wick because it had that much but there was the only way i could really describe this story is that it was like pure rage set to film is the best way i can describe this action movie it, it, but it had passion, drama, it had every all, all these elements. So, I'm gonna tell you, without giving anything away, I'm gonna tell you exactly what this was a this was a of the you know the term mama's boy. This was this was vindication for every mama's boy out there, and that's all I'm gonna say. If you haven't seen the movie, you don't know what I'm talking about. But for all the mama boys out there, this was the this is their movie. <laughs> all the mama boys out there, if you're a mama's boy, this is your movie. This movie is your like Citizen Kane or your your Godfather. This is the this is the movie for the mama's boy, <laughs> right there. If you are if you call yourself a mama's boy, g this is your movie. So that's all I'll say. Like I said, pure rage set to cinema. This movie was intense. So uh, what when I heard that Jordan Peele, he was one of the producers of it. He was the one championing this movie, and he was the, when he saw it, or maybe he read the script. I don't. I can't remember. He was like, no, this you you gotta. You gotta uh, do this movie. You gotta promote this movie or distribute this movie. And and I'm glad that whoever he spoke to, he he got it done, because Def Patel. I am now convinced, Def Patel. If he continues on this path, ooh, let me say something real quick. It's something I didn't just from this one movie. Now this might be just like how everybody felt about Jordan Peele when we saw Get Out. Maybe this is that situation. But, I mean, but to start like this from an action movie, I don't know, it's a, it's a different vein from horror. If Dev Patel can keep it going the way he, from this jump off point, maybe he's a one hit wonder, maybe he's not. I see he might get best director before Jordan Peele does. He might lap Jordan Peele as a director. Jordan Peele is a genius, I think, as a director. He's, but... But I don't know. Maybe I don't know. If I saw if I saw uh, Monkey Man and and Get Out at the same for the first time at the same time, I probably would be saying these two guys are evenly the be the best. And because we we've, we've seen Jordan Peele deliver something not so great after his great movie, I don't know. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe maybe Dev Patel's next movie will be a flop. Who know? Who knows? But if but I there's some potential there. I'll put it like that. Dev Patel. He's got an eye. He he. You can you. I, I'm like I said. First fifteen minutes of the movie, I'm like this dude was studying behind that camera. He.
has it. Just like Jordan Peele, they have it. But I would not be surprised if he keeps going in this direction. He might get an Oscar no nomination or or the, that that trophy before even uh, Jordan Peele does. It was that good? This movie made me feel like I, I I literally was squirming in my chair. Like, and it wasn't just because of what was happening on the screen. It was the way it was shot. If that makes sense, the cinematography was it was outstanding. I can't I can't get enough. If you if if you're interested in seeing this uh, this movie, babe, like I said, I said if it's good, I'll watch it again. I will definitely watch this movie again. If you want to go see it with me, yes, I will watch this movie again, and I might watch it a third time after that. It is that good. If if it's if you're if you're a fan of The Dark Knight, John Wick, this uh, this is on that it's on that level and then some. Go go check it out. Remember to like this video, become a subscriber, and share it. This really does help us out. If you would like to watch more from us from T3 Media Studio, click here or here. Thanks for watching. Ah, oh, stop being NC17.